Hello, this video shows change detection or how do we view changes between two point clouds. My demo has three parts. I show how to find trees which have disappeared. I show how to compute change values for a project dataset. And I show how to see new buildings or extensions. The foundation for what we do is a compute distance operation, which computes the distance between new data and old data points. And we view the distance using distance coloring. So the first demo is looking at trees which have disappeared. I read the new data 2024. LiDAR point cloud, airborne data collection. And I use read reference points to read 2021 point cloud from the same location. I draw a cross section to verify that the two point clouds match and everything is in order. In view number two, I switch to coloring by active reference. New data will be white, old data will be red. Then I run the compute distance and choose active ref versus reference as the type. And I want to store it into an attribute called change. The biggest value that we store is 2 meters. If I want to see something which has disappeared, then in the view number one, I want to look at distance coloring of the change values with a dedicated coloring scheme. And I only want to view the reference point cloud. So in the reference I can see the objects which no longer exist in the new point cloud. Places where I see color there's some kind of a change and I zoom into the location and if I, I'm interested in the trees then I can hide all the points which are less than five meters above the ground. And then I only see changes to the higher objects, higher in the old dataset, as I'm only looking at reference. If I look, see something which looks like a colored tree, I can draw a cross section to verify that yes, in the old data, the red data, I see a tree, and it is one tree, at least what it looks like in the point cloud. And in this way I would keep verifying the what looks like a tree, that it's really a tree, and I may mark the removed trees and, and then they take further action based on what I see. The second demo shows how to compute the change values for a project dataset. One technical foundation is that I have a definition of extra attributes, which includes something that I have given name change, and it's a distance type. And my project definition stores change, so it's one of the attributes in my project to store. And in the 2021 project, I have reference project exists, and I've browsed the 2017 project. So now the years we use are 2021 and 2017. And I have defined a macro, which has a step of computing distance values, active versus reference, and storing it into change attribute 
for the points. And I run this on the project and I set load reference points on. And then the software will read the old data together with the new run the macro and save the result to the new data. And I can use uh, terabats to speed it up. My file format is LHZ and reading in the files takes quite a long time and then I get a big speed benefit from running multiple instances of terabatch. I also need to do the same for the old data if I want to have the same kind of change values in the reference point cloud for viewing objects that have disappeared. And my reference dataset, it says that it uses the new project as a reference. Next demo shows how to view new buildings or extensions. I use the same dataset, but I make sure that I have the 2021, the new project open. I open a block and set load reference points on. Then the software will read in the 2017, the old point cloud together with the new one. My project now stores chains, so I can directly select that I want to look at distance coloring and use the chains attribute. And now I would say that in my top view, view number one, I look at the active point cloud as I'm trying to find new objects, which are only visible in the active point cloud. And I set up my view number two to display points with color. And I synchronize the views. And in this way, my view number two gives me a better understanding of what kind of objects I'm looking at when I'm looking at something that has color. Color indicates that something has changed and my view number two gives me a much better understanding of what I really have in there. And these are all pretty clear cases. I can see the change, I can see the new building. If I'm in any way uncertain, I can do a cross section, perhaps in a new view window. And I can set the section view to display points colored by active reference and new data is white, old data is red. And now I'm zooming into something which is a slightly different case. Uh, it's a building which is about to be constructed. Thank you.